Hello there, I'm Pezza1992 and this is Black Magic. And first let me start off by saying uh, I've been a bit ill today, so if I do repeat myself quite a bit in this video, please excuse me, or if I say anything a bit stupid, please excuse me, because I'm a bit, well, not with it at the moment. But anyway, um, yeah, also let me start with as well that uh, I've already achieved my Season 6 goals, which is pretty good. I got into Platinum, uh, I think it was Wednesday I did it, and I got in there with Kevin and Luke Wicko. But moving on, uh, yeah, so the reason I decided to make this video is I've been off a lot this week, doing late nights and that kind of stuff, so I've just been had a lot of spare time to look at Overwatch on uh, YouTube and things like that, and look at different people playing, and I think Monday night I watched someone stream. And a common thing I noticed about the stuff I was watching is, I was watching a lot of console footage, and on top of that, I was also watching a lot of toxic footage, and a lot of toxic footage seemed to appear on console, and it's a bit weird like how it was so bad on there and recently it hasn't been so bad for me online like I, I do run into the odd toxic player here and there but it seems like toxicity on console and toxicity on PC is like two different completely different things and I was just trying to think to myself like why is it like this and the only thing I can think of is on console well when I say console I mean PS4 because I, I didn't really see much eh, Xbox footage on there because obviously it's quite hard to record on the Xbox so uh, or when I see, say console it's mainly PS4 footage but anyway when I'm watching this PS4 footage, it's mainly just because I think with PC you're able to type to each other. So when someone's really annoyed, you notice it quite a lot when they go, tap, oh you're doing really shit, get off this hero, you're doing really bad. And on console they just kind of say it to each other. And the things you hear people say, like they're just really abhorrent, horrible things. Like the toxicity on console just seems so much worse. So yeah, I know I've done a toxicity video before, but I was just looking at the differences now between why it happens on console and why it happens on PC. And obviously there's different things that toxicity can be. There's like, uh, you can be toxic just by throwing a game or you can be toxic just by uh, just by picking a troll, picking the game. But it always seems to be the same thing when I look at console and it's always just players flipping out and losing their mind. And I mean, these are t you, you listen to them and you think they're the type of players that have literally got some sort of mental disorder to go that mad. And yeah, the only, the only thing I've come up in my head with is yeah, the, it's just, it's got to be the fact that they have to talk to each other on console, like, they have no outlet to kind of type to each other or anything like that, and that's all that came to me when I watched it. So, once again, I'm going to try and go through how you can kind of beat this, but more from a console perspective, and, yeah, oh, another thing as well before we move on is, on the console at the moment, they don't have a reporting system, so it seems like if people get mad they can get away with it so on PC I know on PC it can be still be quite bad but at least we have the reporting system and we can kind of just go right well you saw you probably saw a load of stuff on YouTube recently or on uh, the forums where that guy who basically complained that he had 2,000 um, reports against him and said oh it's unfair I don't know why I got banned and then Jeff basically went on to him and said well we checked your IP user and we found that you've had 2,000 complaints against you in general so unless that's not you we'll get the results as quick as possible and you know it's just Jeff being really smart about it so you know but yeah I'll tell you the story of uh, of some things I was watching this week so we'll go first to um, a game I was watching on YouTube and this guy I believe the story behind it was he queued with one of the players before and the player he queued with hadn't done pretty well and he seemed to be playing a Genji, and the other guy just basically straight away said, Oh, I played with this guy before. He's a Genji main. He's really bad. You're just going to lose this game right away. And I was sitting there thinking, Well, you may have cubed him before, and, but they haven't, and he might have just had an off game or something like that. But yeah, he straight away just said, oh, I'm just going to throw this game. And then throughout the game, everyone was kind of like, Well, we, we kind of want to win. They won the first point, but then straight off, he's like, Oh, well, we won the first one, but you're not winning the others. And I just couldn't understand his mentality behind it because obviously he was still trying to win. Like I think deep down when it comes to these type of things, people just do have the mentality to win competitive because that's the whole point of competitive. But some people are just out there just to troll. But he, it was weird. He didn't seem like the kind of person that was going to troll, but he was trolling just because of people he was playing with. And I just don't see how when you're playing a competitive game, how you just want to throw away like a win. No, I don't. Th I don't take competitive seriously anymore. And I think that's what's helped me climb into platinum is the fact that you got to take you got to take the wins with the losses and everything like that. And sometimes you have just got to accept the games are bad and accept when the games are good and accept when you play well. But there are people out there I think that have a mindset of they have to win all the time. I mean, it's always good to think you have to win, but you've got to remember you, you can't be a, basically a dick about it on the way. You got to be good to each other. You know, that's, that's the way we are. But 
Yeah, so in this game, he was basically just, he said the most horrible things. He was like insulting the kid's mum because the, the person the person playing Genji was quite young by the sounds of it. Yeah, he was saying really horrible things about uh, yeah his mum. He said things like, oh yeah, I hope you, you basically die and I hope that your mum dies and all this kind of stuff. And I was just watching it thinking, this is just a game and you're saying things which this kid doesn't really want to hear. You know, you don't really know this kid's situation either. So you don't know if he's going to come off the console. And this is another reason why you shouldn't act like that in a in comp games because you don't know anyone's situation and this could cause them to just basically have a breakdown or you know go off and do something stupid and you know you don't you don't really want to do that and yeah another thing i noticed with ps4 the reason why i think it's quite bad is uh it comes from the second example which i've got is it was two it was basically a group of kids playing i believe it sounded like a group of kids and i don't know who recorded it but he wasn't talking in the chat and he was a mercy main and these two kids they were just showing toxic behavior and they must have sounded about 10 or 11 and I was thinking to myself well when I was that age you know, I was quite competitive and I used to do things that wound people up and you know all that kind of shit but the way they were acting I was just thinking to myself well it's not a good attitude to have if they have that attitude then what's it going to be like when they get older and I know I'm just talking about it in relation to the game but this is just going kind of generally in life if you, have that re- if you have that kind of reaction then to bad situations or have that reaction then to things you can't handle how are you going to handle it later on in life and now I'm, I'm getting way off point but it's true it, that's the way I think about it but yeah I think the problem with console as well is a lot of the people that play on console are a lot younger than the people who play on PC and that's not saying that there aren't younger people who play on PC because there are but consoles are the thing which the younger generation are more going to play on which is why I think the old the old generation of playing it should know better but because they're playing with a younger generation of people they think they can get away with what they can say and also there's just the case of the fact that they just feel like there's no there's no punishment for what they do on on the console as well like on pc like i said before you can get punished uh, quite severely now for your actions on there but on console it hasn't happened yet but anyway we're going to move on to how we can try and combat this on the console or just how to combat it in general and it goes back to once again into my magic career and I was reading an article the other day from basically a self-help coach and it all come down to how people respond to when they're losing and bad situations and it always starts with the same thing like the first negative thought is what sets you down this really bad track and it's really it was a really interesting read uh, I would give you the link to it but I can't remember off the top of my head but it's uh it's on a quite popular magic website which is channel 5 or anyway yeah so it was saying about um, essentially the first negative thought you have is what sets you down this road and I've just said that but anyway it sets you down this road of all right so we lost the first point we're gonna lose the second point our team's playing badly and the snowball effect just starts so what the guy tries to say is is you've got to try and force these negative thoughts into being positive thoughts and I know it's quite hard to do when you're losing but you can just say let's just take for example oh we've lost the first point but if you look at the time it took them four minutes to get to that point and they were in overtime when they got there so realistically they got they got more pressure on to get further ahead than us uh, to the next point so by keeping that sort of mentality it makes it easier for you to try and stay positive in the game and keep your team morale up and yeah so it was quite a good article I read and you should really go check it out like I said if I had the link I'd give it to you but yeah it was quite a simple thing of it's just changing the way you think of a negative situation or think of something negative that happens in a game and yeah like this is the way I approach all my games now even when we're losing like the other day this is gonna be my last example of games but this is my one of my last games when I got into Platinum we were playing on Dorado and me Luke and Kev uh, another thing that keeps helping me get got this high is uh, voice comms and we had other people in voice comms and in this game we we were on defence first and they pushed the point right up until literally near enough the final point. They got it quite far. Um, someone on our team was just like, oh, our DPS is so bad, they're not killing anyone, all this kind of stuff. And I was playing tank as I usually do. I think Luke was on healer and I think Kev was on healer. I can't remember off the top of my head, but one of them was playing healer and one of them was playing DPS, but it, it doesn't matter. But anyway, so straight away, as soon as we got into the next game, I was like, listen, right, they haven't, they haven't won it. It's our turn to attack now and all we got to do is get it as far as they did and he's like yeah but it's so far away you know and they played so well i was like yeah but it's not like we played badly like i admit we got rolled on the first point but the second point we held them for quite a long time and, and it took them a while to get up to that last point and they got lucky of getting it that far so 
this guy was just like he was in a bad attitude but I managed to kind of change it around so that in the end I think we did manage to push it all the way to where they got it and I can't remember if we won or lost because it was quite close but I can't remember off the top of my head but the point is we were still able to push it as far as they did and it was just from a single case of changing a negative fault into a positive one and yeah uh, so this has tried to cover a lot of things like toxicity and how to how to change toxic behaviour and how to swing things around in your favour. I've done a lot of videos like this before, but it was just saying, because I've watched a load of Roadwatch this week, it's just saying I wanted to get off the top of my head again. So, um, yeah, if you like the video, just comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Pezza1992 and on Twitch at the same. Uh, from Streams from 8pm till late on Saturdays and Fridays and possibly Sundays and any other days I can squeeze it in. And, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.